Welcome to Art My Most Amazing Artist. I'm going to be your art teacher this year. My name is Mrs. Hooper. I'm so excited to get to know each and every one of you this year through your art projects. First, let me tell you a little bit about the art room. When you first arrive, you're going to wait quietly outside the art room for me to invite you in. When I invite you in, you may come in quietly and have a seat on the floor in front of the smart board. This is where I will tell you what we are doing today. In the art room, it is very important for us to be conscious of our voice levels. That means you need to make sure that you're not talking too loud so that everybody can hear what's going on. The voice levels go from five all the way down to zero. When you first come in, you should be at a level zero, no talking, because you're waiting for me to tell you what we're doing. When you have a question, you need to raise your hand and wait for me to call on you. If I call on you, you can talk at a table talk or a normal voice. That's uh, loud enough for us to hear you. When you're working at your tables, make sure you're pretty quiet, either at a spy talk or a table talk. That means people across the room should not be able to hear you. We get to play an awesome game called the Art Party Game in art class. Everybody has a game piece, which is the name of your class. And there are a bunch of spaces that you can move through to get to the end. You can move up to three spaces per class. If you reach the end, we get to have a free choice art party, which is super duper fun. Here are the three ways you can earn spaces to move along the art party game. You can earn one space for listening and being respectful that means not talking while Mrs. Hooper is talking. You can earn another space for doing a really good job of cleaning up. We never want to leave a mess in our classroom. And you can also earn another space for working quietly. If the classroom gets way too loud, we will lose that space. Each space is represented by a paintbrush. So if the class gets way too loud, I might take off the paintbrush for working quietly. Then we only have two paintbrushes left and we can only move two spaces closer to the art party. I also love to reward kids that are doing an extra good job. Maybe you're the only kid listening when everybody else is talking. Maybe you worked extra hard cleaning up. If I catch you doing something that's extra awesome, I might give you something called an art dollar. When you get an art dollar, what you do is you write your name on the back of the art dollar and then you come over and find the pocket that has your class's name on it. So if you're in Miss Rogers' third grade class, you're going to put your art dollar in that pocket. What you're going to do with your art dollars when we get to the art party, you get to Spend your art dollars at the art dollar store where you can buy some neat little things. Sometimes we forget to follow the rules. If we forget, I may ask you to write your name on the warning board. You just get a dry erase marker and write your name on that board and then have a seat and rejoin the class. If you make a not so good choice again, I might ask you to write your name on the yellow board, which means cool down time. You write your name right there and then have a seat nearby and wait for me to come talk to you. And if we're still having a really hard time, I may ask you to write your name on the red board. If you end up on that board, I will send a note home to your parents. And if it keeps happening, I might have to send you to the office. When you go to your tables to have a seat, notice the sign in the center. This tells you your table color as, as well as what number you have. If you are number one, then you're going to sit at the seat closest to number one. If you were number four, you're gonna sit at the seat closest to number four. Those numbers also tell you what job you have at cleanup time. At cleanup time, each kid has a job to do. 
At your tables, you'll be assigned a number and each number has a different job. If you are the supply master, you are going to be getting out supplies. That's job number one. Supplies you will find on the supply shelf. Sometimes you might be getting your table bucket and bringing that to your table, or you might be getting another supply that I have out on your shelf. Notice I've organized the shelves by color. So if you're at the red table, you only get supplies off the red shelf. If you're at the green table, you only get supplies off the green shelf. If you're number two, you're in charge of table folders and the drying rack. Table folders are kept in long drawers over here by grade. When you open up the drawer that says your grade, you'll find a folder that has your teacher's name. You can take out and put away this folder to find your class's projects. If you are in charge of the drying rack, you can also help your table put their projects on the drying rack. We always start from the bottom and work our way up when we fill up the drying rack. Number three is a super important job. You are in charge of making sure your table doesn't get too loud. So feel free to shh them politely if they are getting too loud. Number four is in charge of washing the tables if we do a wet project or cleaning up any trash around the pit tables if we do a dry project. If you finish a project early and you have checked with Mrs. Hooper and I have said, yes, you are done, you may come to the free art or free choice center. So you'll find it on this bookshelf, lots of really cool activities to do like dry erase boards, how to draw books, cool reading books about art, drawing paper, coloring supplies, building blocks, tangrams, modeling clay, art games. You can do these activities um, if you have checked with me. But if you get any supply out, you are responsible for putting it away. And see how nice and neat this is right now? You must leave it even neater than how you find it. Sometimes I need to get your attention when we're in the middle of working on a project. And it may, might be kind of noisy and loud in the classroom because we're all talking. Why not too loud though? But if I need your attention, I might do two things. First thing I might say is hands on top. If you hear me call out hands on top, you stop everything you're doing. Even if you're in the middle of painting a really cool painting, put your paintbrush down, put your pencil down, put both your hands on the top of your head, and then you get to say, everybody stop. So I say hands on top, you say everybody stop. Let's practice, practice it. Hands on top. Everybody stop. Great. Also, sometimes I might say class, class, and then you would respond yes, yes, and put your best listening ears on to hear my direction. The faster we can do it, the sooner we can get back to making art. Don't forget this year to trust in your ability to create art and to grow as an artist. And don't forget that amazing things happen here. I can't wait for us to make some really cool art projects this year. So listen up and I'll tell you guys what we're doing today.